In this video, we're going to be looking at logarithms. Now, logarithms help us solve indice problems. I'm going to show you some of them now. So here I've got 3 to the power x equals 9. Now, this one is really basic because you don't need logarithms to work this one out. You can clearly see that x must be 2. 3 to the power 2 equals 9. However, I'm going to show you how to turn it into log form and solve it as well because in the next few examples, we're going to have to use that method. So we start off by writing log. Then we write the base, and the base is going to be the three, and we write it in a slightly smaller font. Then we write the nine in slightly bigger font, and this would equal to the power, the x. So now we know x is log, base three, nine. And this you can simply put in your calculator. And when you put log 3, 9, the calculator will give us 2. Of course, in this case, we knew that x equals 2. But have a look at the next example. It's not that clear what x should be. So again, we start by writing log. And the base again is 3. And then comes the 5. And this would equal to the power x. So the 3 goes as the base, the 5 goes as the larger number, and this gets equated to the power. And if you put this in your calculator, log base 3, 5, you get 1.465. So let's look at the next example. This time the base is 5, so we write 5 in a smaller font, then the 20 in a larger font, now, if you did want to work out what x was, you could simply put this into the calculator, log base 5, 20. Let's go to the next example. Now, I'll give you a moment to have a go yourself first. This one is slightly more trickier. Let's put this into log form. So this time the base is x, and the larger number is 10, and we equate this to the power. This time, we're going to start with the log form and try to go back to the indice form. So the base is 3, and the power is 10, and it will equal to x. Now, we really need to practice loads of these. So if you'd like to take a moment to go to your textbook and practice more questions of these, it would really help you. So let's look at one more last example. So here the base is x and the power is 5, and this equals to 7. Now, you really need to practice a lot of these and get really fast at it, putting it into log form and taking it out of log form. And there's plenty of examples to try in your textbooks. Okay, so now let's look at some logarithm rules. Here we've got our first rule, and it's called the addition rule. And it says log base ax plus log base ay equals log base a x y and the key thing to remember is the bases must be the same for you to use this rule you see here all the bases are the same so let's do a question where we're going to use this rule so here we've got two logs and they're being added so it looks like we can use the addition rule here we just need to check that bases are the same and clearly you can see here the bases are both two, so we can go ahead and use the rule. So here we've used the addition rule. Now usually when you're solving equations involving logs, what you want to do is try to get it in a single log form. So the question had two logs involved, and you can see by using the addition rule, we've managed to put it into a single log. Once you've done that, you just want to take it out of log form. So let's see if you remember how to do that. So the base is 2, and you should have said the power is 1. And all of that equals to x plus 4, x plus 3. And now you can tidy that up, and you get yourself a simple quadratic to solve. And we have x equals minus 2, and x equals minus 5. So let's have a look at another example. And here, can we use the addition rule? Yes, we can, because the bases are the same and these logs are being added. And now you've got it in a single log form. So you can just go ahead and take out a log form and you should be able to solve it. 
Okay, so let's look at this example. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is bring all the logs to one side. And now you can see that we can use the additional. The bases are the same and they're being added. And we've managed to solve what X is. So let's now look at the next rule. And it's very similar to the additional, except it's got a minus. So when it was add, we ended up timesing them. And now that is subtract, we're going to divide them. So log base AX minus log base AY equates to log base A X over Y. So let's try an example with this rule. Okay, so we've got two logs, they've got the same base, and there's a subtraction between them. So we can use that rule. So let's look at this example. We need to get the logs on one side first. And now we can use that rule because we've got a minus sign between them and the bases are the same. Now we've got in single log form, the trick is to get it out of log form. So the three cubed becomes 27 and we simply multiplied both sides by X. And we've managed to solve what X is. And this final rule we need to know is called the power rule. And what it allows you to do is bring that power P to the front. And of course, you can also do the reverse. So if you've got a number at the front, you can bring it up as the power. So here we've got a simultaneous equation. So I've called the first equation equation one, and I've called the second equation equation two. Now, I'm gonna work with the first equation. Now it's very tempting to use the additional because the bases are the same and you've got to add between them. However, you can't use additional because the, sec the first log has got a two at the front and you can only use that addition rule when there's no numbers in front. Another question you might be asking is where's the bases? There's no bases here. When you see a log without the base, it just means base 10. So when it's base 10, sometimes in shorthand, we just miss the base and it means base 10. And I can simply just put it in to stop the confusion, but you need not to do that. So I said in equation one, we can't use addition rule because of that two. Now remember using the power rule, we can get rid of that two. We can take the two and bring it as a power on the X. And now we can simply use the addition rule. And of course, we just take out log form. Now we can use this result with the equation we label as two to simply do our simultaneous equations. And the way I'm gonna solve these simultaneous equations is simply divide them by each other. And we go straight to what x is. x equals 20. So we put that result back into equation 2. And we get y equals a quarter. Okay, so here we've got another equation to solve. Now it doesn't look like logarithms. But it soon does turn into logarithms. So with these type of questions, I like to make it easier for myself by doing a simple substitution. It just makes it look a lot more tidier. And I'm simply going to say 2 to the power x equals y. Now you need to realize that 2 to the power 2x is just 2 to the power x squared. So if we said 2 to the power x equals y, that means 2 to the power 2x must be y squared. So here instead of 2 to the power x, I'm going to write y. And I've also brought the 28 over. So we've got ourselves a quadratic here and we can go ahead and solve it. And we get y equals 7 and y equals minus 4. Now remember y is not part of the question. We need to go back to what x is. So let's replace the y's with what y is. Remember we said y equals 2 to the power x. Now 2 to the power x equals minus 4 can be ignored because you can't raise 2 to any power and make it negative. Now if you know your exponential graphs, you know your 2 to the power x graph never goes below the x axis. Okay, but 2 to the power x equals 7 can be solved. And how are we going to solve that? You've guessed it. Get it into log form. So x is log base 2, 7. And that we're going to put into our calculator. And we've got x equals 2.81 to two decimal places. Now here's a couple of extra things I thought I'd show you that you should really remember. So log base a, a 
is always one. It doesn't matter what A is. And I've shown you here example, log base five, five is indeed one. Okay, the next thing. Here we've got log base A one, and that's always going to be zero. And if you look here, you've got log base three one, and you put that in your calculator, you will indeed get zero. It doesn't matter what that A value is. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.